Let me know when we're rolling. You're live. All right. Hey, what's up, everybody? Ken in here. And inside the cage is Savvy Surrett and Kyle Penninson. And we're, uh, we're going live an hour early because we're way down south. We're way down in South Florida. We're down somewhere in the greater Miami metropolitan area. And uh, we're gonna, we figured, you know what? We're gonna be going out into the field tonight, today. So we're not gonna be able to do our normal four o'clock show. So we're actually gonna come to you now. And we got a beautiful black throat monitor that's walking about, so I don't know. Let's go in, let's see how the, uh, let's see exactly how the uh, signal operates here. Um, oh, am I coming in? Are you coming in, Tom? Sure, I'll come in. All right, just let you me know. You guys just have to promise to protect me. So yeah. right here. All right, go ahead. He's oh. going to go grab some eggs. Oh, okay. And we're going to hang out with Savvy. Is anybody on there? Anybody yeah, people us? are on. Everyone's saying, hey, Kenan. Oh, hey, what's up? Who, I'd like Artemis to the tortoise show. just jumped is. on. Yeah. Steven jumped on. Awesome. Check it out, guys. So we're here with Savvy. Check her out. Savvy.serret <laughs> on Instagram. So you can see a uh, little bit of her animals and... Uh, Savvy, what's the story with this black throat in particular? Well, he was bought at a reptile expo okay. by one of my friends. And um, after about a year, he was bought at a they decided that they didn't want him anymore, and I gladly took him as a little tiny baby, and that was about three and a half years ago, <laughs> wow. so I just raised him up, and now he's this beautiful thing. All right, let's <laughs> see. He's going to get a little egg. He is awesome, man. So, black throats are indigenous to <laughs> Africa. <laughs> you got to come in and shut the door, Tom. <laughs> no way. All right, here, give me the camera, Tom. <laughs> Tom's a little nervous, folks. I thought I was going to get away easy. All right, Kyle, do you mind handling here, the camera? Kyle got it. All right, Kyle's got, got the take camera. It. He's filming, and he can read off what people are this saying is where if Tom he wants. Likes to be, right out here. Yeah. yeah th there's a shot of Tom, everybody. There's Tom. <laughs> Tom is uh, right there. Oh, no, you got, uh, he got Steve. all of the, um, he got all of the eggshell <laughs> and none of the egg. There you go, buddy. Now, let's see if he figures this out a little bit better. We got to get that goodness in there. There you go. Good boy. Cool. <laughs> nah. Look at him, man. That's so rad. Uh, so, yeah, guys, it's just fun. I mean, um, uh, let me just, I'm going to grab this and I'm just going to flip it and I can get some shots of the critter. And you guys can talk. Uh, Tom Suttle's getting a shout out. There you go. Uh, Tommy Guan is asking, why is Tom scared? Well, Tom didn't grow up with <laughs> monitors like this. Oh, you see, he's he's finally getting in on that. Wait, we should probably give him another one. Go ahead there. I can kind of watch this. And I'm just so happy that we've got good signal that we can do this video here for you folks. Well, listen, let's bring a little reality into the matter. Black throats are, can still do some damage right well yeah absolutely i mean but they, they any monitor is going to be able to bite you um the thing is is this one's you know i'm trusting kyle and savvy here uh you know but uh you're right you just don't have to freak out and run at high I speed freak out, i don't know tom she took my space right? she took she your space you're in her fine. space pal I, yes i'm in her space fine what, but they always, why do they always gravitate to where out of four people in the cage? They, come, they, yeah. they always they, come to me. Always. The that's so funny. Me, the lizards come to me. So like uh, I want to give a shout out to Jana Coppola. Coppola there. Jana, what's the, up, Jana? There's your dad, Jana. <laughs> Tom's a little scared. It's all right. We're getting him out. We'll get him back in here. But um, all right, so the black throats, guys, really cool species. You can just see um, much different than my slinky. But look at the front teeth. You see right up on top of the roof of that mouth. Man, the teeth are almost like molars in the front there. And that's because he wants to be able to crush. And from what I understand, these guys will eat tortoises in the wild. So these guys can crush right through a tortoise shell if the animal is able to be uh, fit in their mouth. And I'll bet that those, oh yeah, he likes this camera. So I'll bet those uh, good old molars up front aid in the crushing of shells like the eggshell. And of course, any kind of Chelonian shell that might be out there is another egg. This guy is really well behaved though, my gosh. Uh, so cool, man. Uh, let's see, yeah, everyone's really digging them. Uh, I will feed Slinky eggs, guys. I do feed Slinky some eggs. Is that one good? Uh, and it'll be pretty cool. Uh, let's see, Savvy's gonna get it in there. So rad, he is so well behaved, my gosh. This guy just is like, He's gentle when he takes those eggs. Well, certain nights when I'm not around here, he sleeps in bed with Savvy. Get out of here. Yeah. He sleeps in bed with you? Yeah. You're crazy. 
but I guess you love your lizards, man. I guess it's it's kind of security. You know, if you're home alone, Kyle's not around, you got a dragon protecting you. You're like the mother of dragons. Very cool. Uh, I love it. Look at this guy. I mean, no problem. And, you know, this animal here in the wild would absolutely decimate an egg, uh, a, a nest, actually. It could be tortoise eggs, bird eggs, crocodilian eggs. Uh, they don't care. They're pretty indiscriminate. They'll just eat whatever eggs they can find. They'll scavenge. They'll hunt food. Uh, they are pretty much opportunistic uh, animals. So that's part of the monitor lizard's success. Very intelligent animals I've come to find. At least, you know, I know working with uh, Slinky, you start to realize how smart he is. Um, also, I'm sure... Oh my gosh, <laughs> lady. It ain't easy when you don't have hands. There he goes. Oh yeah. Good job, buddy. That's, That's awesome. It. You say he spits those shells out. Sometimes they'll eat the shells, which is fine because they get a little uh, calcium. calcium but yeah. it's so okay. He's... Cody Malone's asking how big will black throats get? You want to take that one? Um, probably about seven feet. Yeah, there you go. Max. They get pretty big, so he, he still has some room to grow. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. But he's uh, well on his way, and you know they have a really nice enclosure here. Uh, we're in this. I mean, it's fairly big. We're sitting in it right now. So this guy is just chilling. And as he grows, I'm sure they're going to expand themselves. So it is really, really cool to see this guy up close, man. They've got a lot of cool stuff here. Uh, Savvy lives at home with your, you live at home with your brothers and your mom, mom, right? Yep. Yep. Uh, so it's like, you know, she can't go too crazy here. <laughs> but I think she has uh, a pretty good uh, little collection between her and her boyfriend, Kyle. That's right, man. How old are you, Sav? I'm 19. Yeah, so you got plenty of time to get your own crib soon and move Smart. all the critters, Good right? So, so guys, tonight we're gonna go out, um, we're gonna go out looking for uh, Burmese pythons. Kyle has the permits to get out there in certain areas of uh, Broward County to look, and a few other counties, Miami. but we won't, yeah, Miami-Dade, West Palm, Collier County. Uh, but we're going to be uh, looking for berms tonight, so that's going to be coming up on an episode of Camp Kennan real soon. You, if we get a good signal out there, we maybe go live for a half a second out in the, in the Everglades. Oh, man, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. Do you get signal I don't know. It depends on where you're at, but there's some spots where you will not get signal. Yeah, we're going to be out in the jungle, man. We're going to be out in the swamp. So, uh, very cool. What's up, Tom's home set? Thank you very much. Uh, we're just having fun out here. Cod Pokemon says, uh, hey, Tom. And uh, the signal is not so good. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but, you know, we haven't been kicked off it yet. So we are rolling. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Cole Schumann uh, just said, did you see the radiated tortoise bust in Madagascar? 10,000 plus yeah. specimens. I read that today. Yeah. Uh, Turtle um, Survival Alliance is all over it. Uh, they're going to be getting those animals, you know, treated and hopefully back out into the wild. Uh, there you go, you know, so uh, man, I don't know what's going on uh, Am I gonna get any more reptiles? Yes, but not at my house We're gonna be doing it uh, at a new place which I'll be making a big announcement soon and you guys will be pretty stoked So uh, let's see. How do you get them so tame Devin Bonnie? Well, we were talking about that in another video today uh, Basically, you know savvy and Kyle and myself. We are around our animals all the time you really have to work with him, and, and you had him when he was when he was young, right, Sam? Yeah, he was only a few months, so I had him out every day, all the time, as much as I could. And you notice he's smart; like she, she really works with him with the food. He's came around and he smelled us, yeah. but he does, he noticed we don't we doesn't we don't smell like uh, food, right? Yeah. So he doesn't try and bother us. Exactly, and that's the same thing they, with Slinky. You know, he knows when I have food in my hand and when it's just my hand. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, you always have to treat these animals. You know. You don't know what's going on in their mind, yep. how they're feeling that day. So you should always be cautious and always have respect for what they could potentially do to you. As we saw in a few other videos this month with uh, Tom Crutchfield, uh, you know, having a, a pretty good bite. Um, yeah, and Savvy, why don't you show us that scar? Yeah, That's well, from a different monitor. this is from a different monitor, but Savvy got a pretty legit bite there. Uh, you didn't freak out, though, did you? No, I actually didn't even feel it it's until I got to the hospital. Super sharp. Uh, they are yeah. incredibly sharp. So that was a common eye monitor, which is a subspecies of water monitor. Yep. Uh, so she got, you know, a little love tap. And that's usually what those are, man. They're usually little love taps. I'm going to flip the camera here real quick. They're usually just a quick bite and release because the animal's not trying to eat you. It's either trying to defend itself or it's trying to um, so basically, it's trying to uh, just to get... Um, let you know it doesn't want to be bothered. 
So that's that's what's going on. I just want to give a shout out to somebody uh, right now, uh, Lightning Tortoise. Uh, thanks for the for the contribution. Uh, I really appreciate it. It's good to see you there. So there's a little shout out for you. Uh, don't forget, guys, if you want to help support the channel, go over to patreoncom slash and help us out so we can keep bringing more videos to you. Uh, but we just thought it'd be fun to come live from this animal's abode and the other cool thing i love about monitors and i'm going to switch back here so you're not looking up my nose i'm gonna i'm gonna go back to the lizard the other thing i love about the monitors is the fact that you know these guys almost bird-like in their movements and intelligence in in my opinion see they just flicked me checked me out but he knew i didn't have food so i'm not the dude for him but he, there is some egg over there bud if you want to get it there's some egg over there so you see, I just kind of sit down. For those of you wondering how we allow this to happen, one of the big things I like to do and what's so great about this enclosure is you can get inside this enclosure and sit and watch him and let him move around you and he gets used to you being in here and that really makes him feel a whole lot better. So it's about creating a space where the animal feels good and secure and you can just see how inquisitive monitors are. Now he's walking around looking for food in case we might have hidden something. Uh, do you guys do any kind of enrichment Absolutely, for these guys? Absolutely, yeah. 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 I do all kinds of enrichment. Um, I used to actually train him with a clicker and a target. Really? Yeah, and he did really well with that. He would just put his nose on the target, and I would give him food for that. Um, I hide all kinds of food in here, and I make him climb on these logs all the time. <laughs> yeah, he's been, he's been licking my back for the last, as long as she's been telling that story, so I just wanted to give you guys a view of that. He's just smelling he's me. Really interested. Yeah, he's interested in me right now. There he is. Man, this guy's awesome. See, monitors are rad. Now, hold on. Now, here's a funny story. So I was up at Clyde Peeling's place doing something for Fuel TV years ago, and he had a tame water monitor. Mm -hmm. And uh, the water monitor I was holding, I'm giving a talk about them, and he was really interested in my neck. And one of the kids was like, yo, man, dude's going to bite you. And I was like, nah, he's good. He's good. No, man, seriously, he's going to bite you. And sure enough, the water monitor bit me right on the <laughs> neck right here. And I was like, holy crap. So he bit me. It was such a little love tap. I am so lucky yeah. that he didn't open up my, uh, my, what, the jugular vein. Yeah, the jugular. And I was just like so lucky. But the funny thing is, is he was kind of inquisitive like, uh, like, like right, he is right now, up. man. And he's close to my, um, my, um, my nether, nether region. <laughs> my nether region. But I'm not tripping. I'm all right. But anyway, guys, this is a lot of fun. Hey, what's up, Artemi, Ar Ar Artemis the tortoise from England? We got people from all over. You're uh, down here in South Florida right now hanging out with Savvy Kyle and their Onyx. critter. Onyx. Onyx. Yeah, I didn't even get his name. My gosh. Do monitors need calcium supplements? Yes. Um, all you, know, you should really be supplementing all your uh, reptiles that are in captivity best you can. Uh, you know, so it's very important. Monitor is obviously, he did swallow one of those shells and he's going to get some calcium from the eggshell, but you know, definitely want to supplement them. Uh, when they're adults, probably once or twice a week would be fine, but a whole prey diet and being outside is actually pretty good supplementation to be perfectly honest. When we live down here in Florida, we're kind of lucky. Uh, so there you go. Judy Polanco from Long Island, New York. What's up from my ancestral homeland? So there it is, man. I think um, I think it's a lot of fun. We've gone almost uh, 15 minutes. Let's answer a few more questions, uh, and then we'll get out. Uh, Cod was asking, how old is he again? He's about three and a half. So he's only three years old, four years old. My gosh, that's incredible, man. So he's uh, put a lot of size on. That is incredible. <laughs> yeah, probably about four and a half, five, five years. Five, yeah. yeah, four and a half, five years, you're going to have a full-grown monitor. So that is awesome, man. And again, he is just checking me out. Love this. Love this. What are you going to go get? I have a rat thawing out for him. Oh, she is a rat thawing out for him. Well, we, we won't leave until uh, we feed him a frozen thawed rat. Uh, Chica Banana, you're looking at a black throat monitor. Uh, you know, th there was a controversial video not too long ago on Taylor Nicole Dean's channel uh, where she actually got a roughneck monitor but thought it was a black throat monitor mm -hmm. so um you know you can see there's really no confusing the species um they're just a totally different look and completely different habitat as well this is more of a drier uh you know grassland semi-desert animal uh, 
yeah, they're on the ground where roughnecks are high humidity yeah. and they are a tropical species that lives in the trees. So yeah, here we go though. Really quick. All right, so heck? this is gonna be fast. There it is. Don't make them go higher. All right. Oh, there he is. So again, guys, he, now Slinky will give it a shake. Yeah. Usually they give it a shake even if they are dead, but he's looking for the head and there you go. <laughs> wow. Good. Right Boy. down. That's it. Nice whole prey item. And again, they do what most serious keepers do is they use frozen thawed rodents because it's better for the monitor. And, uh, you know, who wants to hear a mouse squeaking and yep. being miserable? We like animals. But it's just a, the reality of life. This guy eats prey like that, so you got to keep him fed. Uh, should I plant a tree for my monitor lizard? Depends on the species of monitor. You can see here, there's some branches here just to make life a bit more interesting. He can climb over them, bask on them, reach different areas, uh, different parts of his enclosure. So uh, I always think that would be cool. Yeah, tall traveler. What's up, man? Good to see you back on here, brother. Uh, yeah, that was like work. Not a problem to swallow that rat, dude. <laughs> So there you go, everybody, a really fun live video here. Uh, so pretty stoked uh, to be a part of that. I'm so glad that Savvy and Kyle, oh, where am I going? I'm pretty glad that Savvy and Kyle allowed me to come over today and film with them. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna go out into the uh, swamps tonight, going out into the glades. Uh, hey, maybe we'll find a Burmese python, but maybe we'll find some cool native stuff. Native you never home. know what we're gonna find, man. So uh, there you go, a fun live video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm glad it didn't like break out on us or anything, man. How amazing is that? Yeah. All right, all right, very cool. I'm gonna sign off, everybody. We'll talk to you guys soon. We gotta get ready for tonight's expedition into the uh, into the swamps of South Florida. Actually, the Everglades really isn't a swamp. It's a river of grass. It. It's a flooded meadow, and uh, we'll leave you with this handsome guy, Onyx. So I'll be seeing you guys soon. Take care. Look at that, he even said goodbye. <laughs>